Hello, good evening. You're welcome to Online Healing Crusade. I'm so glad to welcome you tonight. It's another day again, another time. And the word of the Lord will be coming your way powerfully. I want to read just one scripture yeah. to you so that I get to re ready for uh, an encounter tonight. Yeah. And that is um, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 22. It says, uh, well, let me read from verse 20. It says, My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sin. This is God speaking. Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Those that find them. He didn't categorize anybody that finds the word of God. The word of God is life to them and health to all their flesh. And that translation says medicine to all their flesh. Hallelujah. Uh, it says, my son. You might not be a son of God now, so it's, it's very good. Uh, an opportunity for you tonight after the meeting you become a son of God so that the scripture can work for you however it says they are life life unto those that find them and the word of the Lord is coming your way tonight I pray that you are going to find it you will hear it, you will find it because they are going to be life unto you, it's going to be life unto you and medicine to all your flesh you can always take it as medicine God bless you Join me tonight to welcome the servants of the Lord, Evangelist Louis Olufemi Obunari, as he brings the word of life unto us again tonight. God bless you and stay connected. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the opportunity to bring you the word of life today. I pray that the anointing of the Lord, the grace of God, will make this word a reality in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to read to you from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, just verse 8 to 11. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, from verse 8 to 11. I will read it in um, KJV, and then I will also read in two other translations. Acts chapter 14, verse from verse um, 8. The Bible says, And there sat a certain man, and Lystra, impotent in his feet, that is, without strength in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked, never. The same had Paul speak, who steadfastly, okay, beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. This means that Paul was looking at the man and watching his growth of faith and the development of his faith. You know, the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing from the word of God. So he was hearing the word of God. He was listening to the word of God. But as he was listening, his faith was growing. Let me read two other um, translations before I start preaching on it properly. Acts chapter 14 from verse 8 to 10, reading from um, the Living Bible. While they were at Lystra, they came upon a man with crippled feet, who had been that way from birth. So he had never walked. He was listening as Paul preached. And Paul noticed, he noticed him and realized he had faith to be healed. So Paul called to him, stand up. And the man leaped to his feet and started walking. When the listening crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in their local dialect, of course, that these men are gods in human bodies. Okay. Let's look at the same from Amplified or the message. 
the message. He said, there was a man in Lystra who couldn't walk. He sat there crippled since the day of his birth. He had Paul talking and Paul looking him in the eye, saw that he was ripe for God's work, ready to believe. So he said, loud enough for everyone to hear, up on your feet. And the man was up in a flash, jumped up and walked around as if he had been walking all his life. <laughs> when the crowd saw what Paul had done, they went wild calling out in their Lekunia dialect, the gods have come down. These men are gods. All right? And um, now from what we have read from that scripture, I'd like to share some things with you. I believe God is bringing his healing power to you and you are getting healed in the name of Jesus today. But let me tell you something that is very simple. What will God use to heal a man that has been lame from birth, who had never walked in his life? Are you getting what I'm saying? What we have read from that passage is that the only thing God can use to do that is his word. You understand? The word, the word of God. That's what God can use to make a person that has never been able to walk with his leg. You know, it means something has happened to the bone of that leg, right? But Jesus has answered to all organs of the body or any part of the body. With God, there's no incurable case. There's no impossibility with God, you know? Okay, so... Uh, in this case, what God used was the power of words, spoke to the man, and the man responded also by faith. Uh, the people we are saying, the men that preach, they are like God. I don't think it's actually about the men that preach, it's about the man that came to the meeting who had a problem that he had had from birth and who could stay enough to gather enough faith for his healing. You understand what I'm saying? You know Romans 10, 17 says, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing from the word of God. And he had sat there listening. That is the process of gathering faith. And it is after gathering faith enough that the faith was rising and rising and rising and had risen to the point that it could deal with the root, root cause of the problem of inability to walk from birth. Whatever was responsible for his inability to walk from birth was not as strong as what was happening to him when he was sitting down to hear the word of God. As it was he listening to the word of God, something was developing inside of him. The faith that can conquer his problem was developing in him. As he was listening, he was increasing in faith. Why? Because faith comes by hearing. If he hears for 20 minutes, the 20 minutes will have developed some things in his heart. But what if he hears for 60 minutes? What if he hears for three hours? What if he hears for six hours? What if he hears six hours today and comes tomorrow for another six hours? What if he comes another third day for another six hours? And he keeps hearing the word of faith. So it means the grade and the level of faith in him will keep rising. Faith rising, faith rising, faith rising, faith rising, faith rising, faith rising. Until measure of the faith was greater than the measure of the problem. So the faith could now defeat the problem. You understand what I'm saying? The Bible said... The man that was preaching, which was Paul, was not only preaching to the crowd. He was also watching the reaction of the word of God on the man that has a problem from birth, who couldn't walk from birth. He was looking at the face of everybody and measuring how fast everybody responded to the word. You know, when you are preaching, you can sense the faith in the heart of people. That's the way you'll be preaching. At the eyes of some people, he's telling you, boy, I don't understand what you are saying. You are just talking about. 
And then there's a way you will talk, and the face of some people will be reading. Uh, mm, it's okay. Let's hope so. But there's a way you'll be preaching, and somebody's face will be saying, Yes, yeah, I believe it. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, so I realize now. Oh my God, thank God. Uh uh. I don't, I never knew God can do this. Oh wow. You know, when somebody's faith is growing, you can pick it in their countenance, you can pick it in their appearance, and the changes in their um, um, attitude to the world. You understand what I said? And, and, and um, in their reaction, you know, action and reaction are equal and opposite. It, there will be changes in their reaction to the world. As the world is coming like an impact and making an impact on them, the kind of impact it made will affect the kind of way they will react to it. You understand? So all those things were what Paul was seeing, uh, was going on, and Paul was measuring it concerning the, the problem of the man. So though the problem of the man has been a very serious problem, you call a person a man, maybe he's already 30 or 40, and uh, as a man, all through his life, he has never walked. So all that part of his body are growing like maturing like a man, but the leg is not growing. The leg is still like, you know, sticks, you know, not, not really strong as the one that can carry the weight of the body. And he might have been crawling all his life because he can't really walk on his feet. He might have been crawling all his life. But having had that word, I believe that something overshadowed him. Mazo zize do de didi keto li katoa na kibawasa. Keso likiti ana ashule pereku telida ikatas. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You remember the day that Mary was hearing the word of God. An angel brought the word of God to him. And he had that word so strongly. And then any area she was not getting it, she asked question and the angel explained. Then she got enough faith and said, well, if that is the case, let it be unto me according to your word. And the angel was so happy that she could respond like that. Say, it is done. Since you have gotten it and you could believe that uh, it will happen to you just like I have said, that's okay. That's all we need from you. You have cooperated with the word of God, so it's going to have effect in your life. You know, but the Bible now said that woman Mary that day was overshadowed with the presence of God. So I believe that any time a person responds to the word of God positively, the person becomes overshadowed by the presence of God. And it is that presence of God that makes healing, miracles, signs, and wonders to happen. So because the word that... Um, 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 Angel Gabriel spoke to Mary. It was just as I'm talking to you that he was talking to him. He was talking to uh, Mary. Angel Gabriel was talking the way I was talking. The two of them were conversing. You know, Mary was replying, what about this, what about that? And the angel was explaining. And eventually, finally, the lady was convinced beyond reasonable and unreasonable doubt that what this angel is saying is correct. I believe I agree. And once the faith click at that level, then the angel said, it's okay, you have it, okay? But the Bible said there was an overshadow, apart from the discussion of the two of them, at a point there was an overshadow of the presence of God. Because when that woman asked, how shall these things be? That's a very powerful question. If I'm not meeting with a man, that's the natural way the woman is supposed to get pregnant and give birth to a baby. But you are saying, I'm not going to meet with a man, and yet I'll be pregnant. Say, how shall these things be? And thank God the angel answered. If he didn't answer, we will never know the how. But the angel answered and said, oh, it's a simple thing. It's going to be by the Spirit of the Lord coming upon you to overshadow you. And after the Spirit of God has overshadowed you for a time, a period of time, it will lift up. But before it lifts, it will have done something to your body. That thing that it did to you will enter into your womb and we keep on going. And that's what we become the baby. Oh, is that it? Ah, that's okay. I get it now. I agree. I agree. I'm waiting for that overshadow. You understand what I'm saying? And that was what happened to Mary. And I believe that at any time that a person is listening to the word of God, if he can, if he or she can have faith in what God is saying. And he holds on to the word of God, believing that God is able to do what he has said. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? There is a point where your believing invite the presence of God to you. And that presence of God is what brings the miracles of God. Mm -hmm. So this whom, uh, 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 person that was waiting to hear Paul got to a point that his faith has risen, 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 risen beyond the level of the bone problem. Are you getting what I'm saying? Okay. And, uh, but before I finally close up on this, let me go to Ezekiel 37. Let's use Use, use the unknown to know the unknown. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 said, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring off flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say unto the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our path. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up and out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you. And you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. And then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I have performed it, says the Lord. Now, so what do I want to bring out, bring you to this place? Bones very dry bones, hopeless bones, dry bones, ordinary bones with no flesh and nothing, scattered all over the place. God said, if you keep speaking to it, the bones will come to its bones. The bones will come together, they become a complete human skeleton. And it will be human skeleton here, human skeleton there, human skeleton there, because all the bones have located themselves. And what brought them to start getting together like that? The word you said, the prophecy you gave, the commandment you gave, the command in the spirit that you gave, is what is making them to come together. You want them to progress from that? Prophesy more. Then teachers and tenders, muscles will come over them. Prophesy the more, then skin will cover the bone and the muscles together. Prophesy the more, they will become like a corpse, but they are not yet complete. They need breath of life so they can move animation. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then you prophesy again, life coming to them, and from die bones, they become walking army, ready for war. So if God has given us that pattern in the Old Testament, then Paul has something to lean on when God says, speak to that man, tell him to jump up, tell him to stand up. Though the man has not been able to walk all his life. That's like a bone that has not been able to walk all his life. But the anointing makes the difference now. You understand what I'm saying? And I pray that the anointing of the Lord will do the same for you today in the name of Jesus. Before I pray for you, there is somebody that is there that you have an accident, you, are, you were a driver before. You have an accident, and the accident affected the bones of your leg. 
both the thigh and the legs around the knee badly damaged. But God said, I should tell you today, when we are praying, place your hand on that leg. Something supernatural is happening today for you. Today is a day of overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn the cancer of the enemy. It's a day of restoration, total restoration to your original state before the accident ever happened. Do you believe God is able to do that and do that for you? Ah, then you have it today. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone hearing the sound of my voice that have any bone problem in any part of your body, bone of your hands, bone of your legs, but the one I saw is the bone of the legs. I pray that the anointing of the Lord come over you right now like a divine overshadow and overshadow you. And that bone that has been damaged in the time of the accident you had as a driver, today that leg is restored in the name of Jesus. That leg that has become stiffened, not only stiff, it has been badly damaged that uh, even after all they have done in the hospital, it has never returned back to its original state. Right now it's restoring, it's restoring, it's restoring, it's restoring, and returning back to its original state in the name of Jesus. We find out that the, this leg and the other leg will not be able to know the difference between the two of them in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus the healer is touching you right now. Thank you, Father. Glory and honor to you. Master Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you that you have not been able to use the leg at all from birth. Today, the God that does miracles that go to the backs of people and do miracles that they have needed from the day of their birth. We go back to the time of your birth and bring you a miracle from conception. Receive that new miracle now. Supernatural power from conception. Rearranging your conception. Rearranging your delivery. And rearranging your manifestation since the day of your birth. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory and honor to your name. And the person that is having a problem in the left hand, the elbow of the left hand, you are getting healed there also. Flex that hand now and move it anyhow. You just find that you could move it more than you could do before because the Spirit of the Lord has taught you. Angel, the angel of God that is meant for healing coming upon you right now. There is a divine overshadow of God that is overshadowing your are ministering in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you just wave your hands to God and thank Him? Just thank Him. For the Lord is good and His mercy endureth forever. Thank you, good God. We salute you, Master. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your miracle will be permanent. Just exercise those legs and hands. Like you've never been able to do that before. Stand up, walk around, run around. Walk around, run around. Throw your hands up in praises and worship unto him. He has done great in your life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Well, it's a daily affair. Until tomorrow, be healthy, wealthy, and strong. God bless you.